Hello, I'm Anita from beandesigns.com. I'm here to help you create awesome digital scrapbook layouts by sharing my layouts with you. This is week 18 of my journey of creating 52 digi scrap layouts in 52 weeks and sharing them with you. Thank you for looking at them because after I finish creating a layout, I want to share it with so many people because I think it's awesome and wonderful. So, so glad that you're joining me. <laughs> so this week I have a set of three photos from my grandson's recent birthday. This is uh, the first page. Um, the next page will be in next week's layout. I am using the most recent version of GIMP at this time of the recording, and that is 2.10.18. To get started, I opened a new image. Oh, let me show you where we're going. This is, this is where we're going. So I started by opening a new image and I have my three photos on here uh, and I've got them cropped and sized to the sizing that I need. So let's go ahead and bring in some more papers. We're gonna use the blue background as our main background page. And then I'm gonna use these other ones these other papers, we're going to cut them into mats. So let's start with a green mat. And I'm going to crop this green mat to be 2600 by 2600. So I'm going to use the crop tool and loosely draw my square. Then I'm going to type in my size, push enter to apply that size, and then I click inside the highlighted area and it crops away the remainder part. So let's move to this patterned piece. And I'm going to once again use my crop tool, draw a rectangle. I'm going to make this to be 2600 wide, the same width, but I'm going to make it half size. So I'm going to make it 1300 high. Click inside there and do that once again for the red piece. Click inside there and I didn't bring in this one. So let's bring in this piece. This one's going to be the circle. So let's right click there on that rectangular select, choose the ellipse tool. I'm going to draw a circle, which apparently is there. Okay, I want to make this circle 1300 by 1300. Once again, push enter to apply these selections here on the sides in our tools. So we have our circle selected. Let's go to select invert to choose everything outside of this circle and we're going to delete whatever's outside our circle. And there we have our circle. So let's go select none. I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to pull this green paper over. And how about let's reorder our papers. And we have this one and this one and so the circle is going to need to move up. Let's put it on top. We're going to use that circle to be our journaling backdrop. So we're going to put our journaling on there. So here we have the very start of our page. We've got our background paper. We have our mats on our photos. We've got our photos on. So let's move to the next step. And <clears throat> let's bring in our banner. And our daisy chain. So first let's start with our daisy chain. So let's rotate our daisy chain to where it is here. And use our move tool. So let's move it over a little bit. And we want the daisies to be on top of this photo, on top of this photo, but under this one. So let's go to our layer palette and move 
this one below and this one over. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Hold on. Daisy chain. Oh, okay. Over. Daisy chain. There we go. And that's hard to see because we have this banner here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make our banner layer active. We're going to use the scale tool and shrink that banner to be approximately half the size here so that we can then duplicate it. Move tool and we're going to put it across and I didn't I mean I didn't quite make it small enough because I want I would like these the string the ribbons to be in the center here so let's go to our scale tool make it smaller to resize this one move tool Oh, it's jerking around. And you'll see that since we we multiple we duplicated this since we have them on top of each other, and we've got these um, the little ties on top of each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase one of the ties. So I want to erase this bottom one. So I'm going to make that one active. Use my erase tool. And let's erase the bottom one here. And there. So now let's zoom out. And you see we have a nice banner across the top. We have our daisy chain. Let's do our title now. So we'll choose our text tool. We're going to choose crispy bacon at 16, 1500, 1500. I'll show you how we choose our color. Use the eyedropper and choose the red. Select OK. We'll click on our image and type a J. Let's change our size to 200. Click on our image. A good. Do a new layer. This gives us the ability with new layers to manipulate each one independently um, for placement. And now let's loosely pull them into place. And I would like to have that banner on top of the, no, yes, I want the, hold on, I want that banner to be on top of the J, yes, there we go, um, so let's look at the J, let's give that J some dimension, like it was a chipboard letter, so let's duplicate that layer. Then we will alpha to selection around it. Do our select feather and select shrink. And then remove that inner portion and apply a multiply mode to the remaining piece of it. Then let's select none and add a drop shadow to the entire J. 
and let's go to the next line on our title and add a drop shadow to it as well. I'm just using the default values of the drop shadow for this purpose. And we're going to do um, dimension on the four, just like we did on the J. Sorry about that. And delete the inner part and add multiply to the edge. And then add a drop shadow. Select none. If you leave it, remember if you leave it selected, when you add your drop shadow, it won't give you a shadow. So now we have a title. Um, next, let's work on some journaling. So um, what I would do next is let's uh, get a text layer and um, I'm going to use great vibes for my journaling. And I'm not being very good at finding it here. And it's going, to, we're going to do this at 65 pixels. We're going to keep the red coloring. And I would just go in and I'm going to type in my journaling here underneath this photo and journaling and over here. So under this photo, I'm going to make it right justified. Oh, and it's going to be, um, well, Okay, Officer Bean. And I just would type it all out here and then type out over here and over here. And in the end, this is what it looks like. Here's our, here's our journaling. Um, so once that is complete, I'll go in and do um, adding the dimensions, inking the photo edges, adding drop shadows to things, and um, doing dimension around the edge of the paper and the photo mats to get our end result here of our finished completed page. I would then save it in the XCF format, which is the native GIMP format that maintains the layers. Then I would also save it as a JPEG so that I could send it to the printer for printing. And I would then also reduce that JPEG to a 72 pixels per inch for posting on social media or um, sharing on a website or something like that. Uh, I used several kits on this layout that were on my stored in my computer files. I even created the banner because uh, I had a certain set of colors for photos that I wanted for the papers. So I found a kit that had those colors, but they didn't have the banner. So I created the banner from another kit. Um, I created a daisy chain. I had found a daisy flower that was in a kit. I found a piece of rope from another kit. So I used all kinds of different kits in this. I will leave that information in the description box. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did like it and go check out my channel because there's all kinds of other videos, several other layout videos, as well as tutorials on using GIMP and creating your digital scrapbook pages. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and then click the bell because if you click that bell, it'll notify, YouTube will notify you when a new video is released so that you'll know that there's a new one for you to watch. Keep on preserving your memories by um, digital scrapbooking and bye-bye till next week.